guys. So on today's episode of Redneck Garage, make sure you go down, hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Leave me a comment after this video. Let me know if this will help you or not. We're going to explain this process as we go along with it, because I don't know. Make sure you share my YouTube channel with all your friends. I want to keep growing the subscribers and keep making the best content we can make. So with that being said, make sure you hit that thumbs up and we're going to get to it. We're going to put my 800EX shocks on this 500 trail. I hope. We're going to find out. Let's try it. So the tools that you're going to need is the Ugga Dugga gun, 15 millimeter socket, two 15 millimeter wrenches. Reason being is some spots are a little hard to get to. Okay, that one's out. Now we're going to have to remove the lift brackets, the two inch lift brackets that I put on this machine, we're gonna remove them. I think, I wanna see how long these shocks are. Don't mind the heater, I'm sorry about that noise. And don't mind Nick, he's working on his Polaris. <laughs> breaking down. Breaking down. Well, you, you gotta ride them in order to broke them. If you didn't broke them, you ain't riding them right. No, with Polaris, they just sit great. That's true. Don't be like me and grab the wrong socket. What a dumbass. Like dumbass said five minutes ago, you're gonna need a 15, not a 13. For some reason we grabbed a 13. So here's the stock 800 trail shock. And here is the CF Moto 800EX shock. It's a lot longer of a shock. So what we're gonna have to do is back the preload off for sure. And we're gonna have to get rid of the two inch lift. Otherwise you'd be in trouble. So inside your CF Moto toolkit, You will find that there's not a spanner wrench. It's really odd because there is in hers. So like I said in the Redneck Garage CF Moto kit, you'll find your spanner, spanner wrench. Okay, so you're gonna wanna back that off until the spring is just loose. And then we're gonna do, what just touches it. Now that we got our lift kit uninstalled, let's see about these, see if they fit. So it looks like we're going to have to grind these down a tad on the bottom. I'm going to go do that because they won't fit down in there. Yep. So we ground a little bit off of this, we're going to see if it'll fit. So if you can't get your hole to line up, get you a tapered punch, stick it through, tap it, it'll line everything right up. Okay, so it's not hard to put an EX shock on a trail, but you're gonna need two inch wheel spacers to make it happen. Without the wheel spacers, the tire will hit this reservoir and no, you can't turn it in. Oh, but I can put the shock upside down and it'll clear. No, don't be dumb. It won't operate right and it won't stay cool. The fluid needs to be up here. So it can flow the way it's supposed to flow, not upside down. That just makes you look like an idiot. Don't even do it. I'm going to get the other side put together and then we'll think about doing the front. Stay tuned. So here's what we got. The rear shocks bolt up just fine. You just have to grind out a little bit or you can bend your tabs a little bit on your, your machine. It's not that much, honestly. Take all your preload off and put three and a half inches down is where I got these set and the ride height is is still stock right there there's plenty of adjustment so you could get a good four extra inches without a lift kit back here now 
The fronts on the other hand, the shocks are too long. Even backing off the preload all the way, the only way you could do it, and you would actually still gain a benefit, I'm not going to do it right now because it's mainly the rear that is super stiff in this thing. We're going to take it for a ride here in a minute. But the only way you could do it is by backing the preload. The only way you could do the fronts is by taking the preload all the way back, squeezing them babies on there, and then getting you some limited straps so they don't max out the suspension completely. They're just too long. But, like I said, my main concern was actually just the rear of this machine because it rides so stiff back there. We're going to go take it for a ride. I got them on there. There's the EX shocks on here. Now, like I said, you're going to need two inch wheel spacers or you'd never make this happen. Okay. And I pushed down on this machine. It is super soft already. So we're going to take it for a ride. ride my side by side and i have not heard what you have to say yet so let's hear it better than the 1000 xp it rides better it rides than better are you serious you think so i've only rode in yours 
one time, and I couldn't really judge because you had them car tires, and it rode like shit. Yeah. Because of the car tires that was pushing in the turns and everything, so. All them potholes I hit. Sorry, guys. He don't want to be on camera, so you got to just hear him. A lot better than the, than the 1,000. The so, them little PP shocks, you you think ride better than yours? Yep. On your 1,000, what is that? XP. XP. Oh, yeah. It's a lot more stiffer. Or yeah. not stiffer, it's softer. Smoother. Softer. A lot softer. softer than these. Yeah. 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 And, yeah, so... I know that there was a big difference just on the road. I can't wait to get it out in the woods and see what it does. And that's out of the box. I haven't played with any tuning or anything well, like that. I can't that. wait to see what it does out in the woods either. I know. But the one thing I did notice is the other day when I was getting the tires loose on the, the pavement, my stock shocks would not allow me to do that. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I know if you were at the drag strip, it'd be a bad thing. But I wouldn't take no sway bars off. I'm not taking any sway bars off. Um, at least not yet. I might design me a quick disconnect just yeah. for in the woods. But by the way it seems, um, when I had it jacked up the other day, just the one tire, it had a lot of travel with the sway bars hooked up versus the stock shocks. You, you ain't yeah. getting that. Yeah, but I was surprised on how good those shots are. Yeah. Way better than... So yeah, they're this nice thing, and you hit all the potholes and you feel it. That thing you and that's why I took them feel. different roads, because I wanted you to get the feel, plus I'm trying to feel that. And that, yeah. holy shit, is that way different. Oh, it's different, because every time mm -hmm. you hit a bump, it's like... Well, normally, on the trail shocks, mm -hmm. you hit a bump, you'd, you'd be knocked all around. Yeah, just bloop. Yeah, it would be <laughs> like that. It's That's still how yours was before these. You'd still get knocked around. Those on that compared to those, those are a big difference. Those on this compared to the stock shocks, yeah. they're a big difference. So I think I may not keep those. I might save the money and get her some stage one Elkus. Because I think it would do her some good. At least. The way the rear rides, the front the front really isn't that bad for it being a trail. It's not. But the rear, it was so bucky and stiff. You couldn't do anything about it. So, if anything, I might just swap the front springs out with just some good springs. And maybe that'll do it. I don't know. But... That's it for you guys. Let me know in the comments what you think about my redneck videos. And yeah, so that is definitely well worth it. So if you can pick up a set of stock rear EX shocks, throw them on your trail. You can probably get some for free off of a buddy or even in the groups. People don't want them. They, they you know, they're upgrading. But if, if somebody don't, they're on a tight budget, you know, buying an expensive shock for a trail it's not really beneficial in my opinion because you just don't get the, what do you want to call it? The suspension articulation or whatever, the movement. You don't get enough travel to really benefit from it like you do in the EX. So definitely if you can get a set for free or even even 200 bucks, I would say it's worth it. And uh do the lift kit, the two inch lift kit, because I had to take the lift kit off the rear. Do the two inch lift kit for the front and take your preload off the front springs and set them all the way to soft. And that's a huge difference as well. So, all right, guys, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace and God bless. Let's see what Laura has to say. She took it for a spin to see how it rode. See. Don't hers just look so good with that pink and them, them lights? Let's see what she has to say, guys. You're good. What do you think?
Was that a good idea? Yeah, it was. You got to tell John Hester thank you, because otherwise you wouldn't have those shocks to put on. Thank you, John Hester. I appreciate it. So the front end never, ever really, to us, never felt like it was too stiff. I mean, it could be softer. Yeah, it could be softer. But it's manageable. But that rear, it always bucked and yes. stuff. Like, I went over some bumps, and it just was like, whoop, 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 just a little bit. Way different. You're like, yeah, usually, yeah. Yeah. This is way different, huh? Oh, it's Huh. So what I need to do now is maybe adjust the height up a little bit, but not too much because we don't want to take the ride quality away. But I don't think that you really would with those EX shots. They're way softer than them stock. So I'll uh, bring the machine up about two inches to be where it was with the lift kit and everything. And I think it'll be golden titties. So is softer. the front a little, is the front softer since I set the shocks to all the way soft? It's softer, yeah. It's way softer now? It's okay. Softer. I thought like so. It's smooth. smooth. Way smoother. Yeah, it's crazy. It's a little bit more adamant and yes. stuff on the road. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Well you you heard it guys from the horse's mouth. <laughs> Tell her how pretty her machine is. It's a pretty machine. Yep. Later guys. I love it.